As a teacher, you want your students to do more than simply regurgitate information. You want them to be engaged and involved in higher level thinking. And sometimes as a new teacher, it's hard to know how to get the students to that higher level thinking. But there's lots of technology out there that can assist us teachers. One such technology is called WebQuest. So you go to your internet browser, type in webquest.org, and here is their home screen that comes up. It tells us a little bit about WebQuest. Um, the basis of it is that it is inquiry based, which is a hot topic nowadays. And WebQuest has the students gathering their information from the web. The technology has spread all around the world, including countries like Brazil, Spain, China, Australia, and Holland. So this technology is being utilized worldwide, and it's fairly simple. There are lessons created by teachers, and you can just search, and if you like the lesson and it fits in, you can use it in your classroom. So we, we click on the left-hand side here where it says Find Web Quest, and it tells us that their website is undergoing some technical problems and tells us to use this Quest Garden search below. Um, it's very user-friendly. When you go here, you can search by keyword um, or you can search by your grade and subject. So to start with, let's look at science in high school since I am a high school chemistry teacher and we go search it brings up over 1600 web quests that we can look at um, so you might want to type in keywords if you were looking for a particular lesson if you're just browsing um, you can just take time and look through these it gives us the title and a brief description um, and the year it starts with the newest ones first. It also gives us the grade and content area. So you can quickly know if it's something that would be appropriate for your level. It also gives us the reading grade level. And that is the information that they'll be reading on the web. So some of them may be rather simple and some of them may be too difficult for your particular um, classroom. So you can just go through Look at the menu, um, read the description, and find out something that you're interested in. Um, so there's things about polar bears, acids and bases, the cells, the moon. Um, there's just numerous web quests to look at. The one thing that's awkward, it doesn't have a next page. You have to go back to the top and click on page two to go to the next page. Um, and we're not going to go through all of these. There is one here that I enjoyed that was called Rocket Launch right here. And the nice thing about the WebQuest is they are all set up with the same menu. When you click on this, this is the student page that pops up. And you have the categories of introduction, task, process, evaluation, conclusion, and credits. So the introduction, as it suggests, a um, small um, overview of what you're doing. The task is kind of a short summary of what they're doing in this web quest. This one is to create a rocket. Um, to do that, they'll have to use what they've learned in chemistry about chemical reactions. This web quest is set up that the students click on the keywords and it takes them to a website in which they can find out more information. This one, I clicked on chemical bonding and it shows us um, some examples and some diagrams um, with the information about chemical bonding. Um, all types of words that the students might need to know are um, set up as a hyperlink so that they can go and read about them. Um, 
This makes the students very much in charge of their own learning, in charge of the order um, that they take these in. But this describes what they're doing. Um, they have to look at the chemical reactions. They have to turn these into the teacher. Um, and it goes on and on about how they're creating their rocket and how they're going to um, shoot them off and test them. So all of these terms here they can look at in their process that's part of their learning um, and that inquiry on their own. Evaluation gives you the rubric. This one shows um, it's a four-point scale um, on the different things with chemical reactions and how they use lab safety and so forth. Um, conclusion is just a short little conclusion about what they should have learned and the credits give you um, other teachers that were involved as well as um, other websites that were useful as well as a teacher uh, biography. This is the student page. You can go to the teacher page and it gives us the categories of introduction, learners, standards, process, and resources. This tells us a little bit about um, what they're doing, how the teacher felt about this web quest. The learners tells you what grade level it was designed for. The standards, this teacher is from Missouri, so she lists the Missouri State um, standards. You could easily read that and find those on the Arkansas standards as well. The process um, tells you, since this is experiment based, it gives you some time ranges of about how long it would take to complete this. And resources. As a science teacher, this is very helpful. The um, this is a material list for all of the things you would need for the lab. I know many websites have good ideas, but then they don't give you a list of the supplies you need. And as a teacher, it's kind of hard to come up with a lab if you're not sure exactly what you need to complete that lab. So this is very handy. The nice thing is there's no login. There's no um, ID required. So you can just give your students the web address and they can look this up um, at home as well if they're needing some out of class time. Um, the bad part is, of course, you have to have the internet. So um, I know many schools are limited on how many computers they have for student use. Um, going back to the search, um, let's go and look at something that is not science. Um, let's look at to Kill a Mockingbird. This is one of my favorite um, books in high school, and I'm going to do the exact phrase so that we find To Kill a Mockingbird. And I hit search, and we have 69 web quests on To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, this could be for any grade level because we were just searching that one phrase. So you can notice most of them are going to be high school. There are some middle school level, um, like this one right here. Um, there's numerous ones you can look at. There's 69. Um, we're going to look at one here on the second page that is... understanding to kill a mockingbird right here it's set for the high school level again notice that these are the same your <coughs> toolbar on the side with your different categories um, in this one their task is to get some background knowledge before they ever start reading the novel so they're going to work in a group and do research about the 1930s and the major events that happened during that time. They're going to do their research and create a newspaper. Um, and this encourages group work. Um, the process. This one gives specific websites. The other, the science one was keywords that they could click on. It works the same. It's just a different format. Um, 
they can click on these. This tells you about the 1930s, um, gives some facts about that and so forth. Um, and this tells the steps for the kids. Um, they're to look at these websites. In their group, they're going to have different jobs. It lists those jobs and how they're to do all this and put their um, newspaper together. So, um, you can go through all of these. You could spend hours just looking at the different web quests. Again, there is the rubric on the evaluation um, that you can use f to evaluate their project. So, there are numerous web quests. You could spend forever looking at all of these. Um, let's go back and look at the home page again. Here is the webquest.org. Now you can create your own webquest. Um, it seems, it says it's not really difficult. You have to know how to do hyperlinks. Um, myself as a teacher, it's nice to find the information that's already out there. Um, although you can adapt these for your own use um, through this garden quest, you get a 30-day free trial. After that, it's $20 for a two-year subscription. So, it's not outrageously expensive, but again, that's only if you want to create your own or edit some other teachers and make it um, personalized for your classroom. So, um, if you're interested in that, you can explore that and create your own. Um, there are useful resources. Um, it's just some information about um, inquiry-based learning and so forth. Community. Um, there is some forums that you can look at um, associated with WebQuest. In the research, if um, it talks about many graduate students are um, conducting their thesis and dissertation um, on the effectiveness of WebQuest. So you can look at that. Um, bookshelf, this was neat. Um, it gives us books that might be of interest um, to teachers and some new technologies, like that one says classroom blogging. So, lots of technology on here. Let's go back. And there is news that you can find out um, about WebQuest and what's going on with that. So, this is a very handy website. Um, I found it very nice that the information is there. You don't have to spend a lot of time. Um, you can just go online and use it and it is free um, for you to use as well as your students. They can access it at home. Um, the nice thing is that the students, um, they really have to read the content on the various websites which um, really supports literacy in all grades. Um, the students have to compile all of their information that they've learned, such as the science one. They had to connect it all to make the rocket launch. Um, the To Kill a Mockingbird, they had to look at um, the different websites and compile a newspaper about what they had learned. Um, you can spend numerous time on here. Some of them require a paper. Some require a PowerPoint. Some require hands-on, like in science, um, but the students are synthesizing lots of information. They're not just reading and answering simple little questions. So it's really higher level thinking, um, which we really need to encourage our students um, to do. Um, it can be for all content areas, as you could see on the search. When you go and search, you can do um, pretty much any what any grade, any subject that you want to. Um, so there are no limits as to what teachers can use these web quests. 
Um, and I would definitely recommend it um, to all teachers, particularly my science teachers. Um, and it's really handy, and I think it will be really great to incorporate this into my classroom this year.